sit back because you're you're in for a treat because in our in our segment called the art of it lloyd is going to talk about 11 of 11 of the hundreds of fashions that hit the red carpet at the grammys ladies and gentlemen so if we can start let, let's go with our first our first image chloe bailey yeah um you know i have to say when i saw this when i saw her walk down the red carpet um it felt like she felt uncomfortable mm -hmm. and i'm not sure if you saw the footage but you could even see from that you know kind of forced posture shoulders back chest up that she's going for a level of sexy that i don't think she has arrived at yet mm -hmm. it feels a little put on um this designer gupta couture uh, is known for embellished clothes that really bring out the sexy i'm getting little throwbacks of tony braxton here mm -hmm. i'm getting uh you know i'm getting a a young woman who looks to be dressing uh like a woman who has seen more of the world this feels like she's holding her stomach in and possibly ready to get out of that dress <laughs> she's also hiding her fin uh, all i can say i agree across <laughs> the board i i i totally totally agree um our next look those are cat you know i had to study the screen i kept rewinding to see if i was seeing what i thought i was seeing what are you saying <laughs> oh no, it's is it is it called areola I don't know what it's it called is. trauma. <laughs> yeah, you know. We're ready to kick in with you, Lord. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I just, I, I, I applaud her bravery. Um, I wouldn't know her on the street because every time I see her, she looks a little different. Sure. Um, and I do love a woman who likes to take risks, but mm -hmm. I feel like there should be a little bit of a tasteful edge there where, there's a little bit more mystery, you know? This is almost a full on nip slip, double nip slip. And I'm also seeing, you know, beyond the tattoos, a little bit more of the crotch area than I think is savory for a family viewing audience. Yeah. She, 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 like she, a true she, fashion journalist, savory. She, she was just, she wasn't a high hit on my, on my list. But this next uh, uh, image is someone who's been killing it um, with her stylist, so Fantasia. I would agree, you know, that uh, color purple press junket, I've never seen her look better or that entire cast. I agree. Again, that Oprah effect, you know what I mean? I like when you get in bed with that team, they're not messing around, you know? And if you're gonna be flanking Oprah on any red carpet or any stage press wise, you have to look commensurate with the queen. And I think Fantasia has kept that going. Love this fun kind of Betty Boop, Marcel wave. Um, the lip jewelry is a little edgy for me, but hey, she's a young woman who wants to show a little edge. But I love the way she's a curvy woman who is honoring her curves uh, in a way that feels tasteful and sophisticated. And when you look at this designer, Kong Tri, uh, you're seeing craftsmanship that really honors curves versus tries to hide them. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And I now, totally agree with the lip yeah. jewelry. It kind of, in photographs, it almost looks like she has a cigarette in her mouth. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't. And she looked like she couldn't pose and have fun. She kind of had that kind of, you know. Angelina Jolie, I gotta pull my leg out so you can get it. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah. Now, someone who didn't consult her sister or talk with her before she left the house, I think, is our next image, Halle Bailey. Okay. You know, <laughs> yeah, and they're like they're going in separate directions here. Mm -hmm. I said years ago that she had a Disney princess face. I think I need to just scroll back and find that tape. Find um, it. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I said it years ago. And I think she's, you know, such, I think once you get into that Disney machine, if you want to continue to stay in it, you know, things need to stay sophisticated. Yeah, Thank be you. a little sexy here or there, but she's got the memo, you know, and I think what, she's a few months off of having a baby. I was going to say new mother. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, she's wearing Gucci here, but I love this. I, I, I love this gown because I feel like it's just enough sexy and just enough sophisticated. Yeah. Yes. And it says, I am a mother and I'm classy no matter what. <laughs> um, and, and this next uh, image, this person dropped the mic completely. <laughs> yeah. My favorite of the night. I would have to agree. And I love the fact that she's, you know, not in this particular moment, uh, but she's branched out of the black and white that she wore for so many years to brand herself. Um, she's offering more 
kind of traditional femininity, sexy sophistication, and she's having more fun. You know, she was very serious. I interviewed her several times over the years on the red carpet, and it was always like this kind of black college speech. And I'm like, girl, loosen up. Like, we're out here having fun. And she always had this kind of big delivery to give. And I'm like, you know, we're just at the BET Awards, right? This is not, you know, <laughs> you're, you're not the mark on Washington. Like, so she's finally loosened up a little bit. And I like that, you know, because she's a beautiful woman with a beautiful voice. She sings, she dances, she acts, you know, she's one of those quadruple threats. And in this in Armani Privé, she is like, a dream for any brand to jump into. They're smart, just like Ralph Lauren has with her. Amen. This well, outfit I mean, completely, like, re, like when I saw that all of my chakras aligned, the world <laughs> was beautiful, and I loved her for that. Yeah, it was great. Take it away, John oh, Legend. Keeping up with the pace. I mean, like we talked about earlier, menswear. Maybe we talked about this before we were on camera, but you know, wear, you did. no, you mentioned yeah, it. On menswear camera. has done a, a big shift. You know, men are embracing uh, a more avant-garde look, a little bit more androgynous. Uh, where, regardless of how they identify, I love the fact that men are taking these risks. Um, John Legend, this looks. I think this looks sophisticated and cool. But I don't know if it's more Lenny Kravitz than John Legend. John Legend's more of a boy next door, but I like that he's taking risks. Uh, what do you guys think? Is he pulling off? I he, thought he pulled this off. I The thing, I'm glad you said, I was like, he's trying to dress like Lenny Kravitz. See, That's I don't much think much that. Much I, don't, I, 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 I disagree. I disagree. I, I, I disagree. But yeah. That's why it's called what show? He said, he said, he said, right? But but I, yeah, I. But I, and, I agree with you, Alvin. I think he completely pulls this off, and I right. think John uh, John Legend has a very nice body, uh, uh, and he's proportionate. I think it it doesn't overwhelm him. It's a dramatic look without overwhelming him. Uh, mm -hmm. It does give you the you know the deep V and so forth, and mm -hmm. this is way too much coverage for Lenny Kravitz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, so but he he was one of the only men John Legend who kind of came in and gave some style. Our next uh, John, <laughs> I'm on the fence with this one. Yeah, this gave me a little bit of a modern Tin Man. And I feel like you know, <laughs> I, would have, I would have worked with the tailoring a bit more. Yes. You know, I see what they were going for here. This is uh, Versace again, mm -hmm. um, but it feels a little boxy. And mm. it's almost like three too many ideas in one. Mm. You know, I don't need yeah. the skirt and the pant, you know, or I think, you know, if you look at that way that pant is tailored, it mm -hmm. shouldn't really pull at the bottom, maybe a little bit less of a break. Like I would have really gotten in there and nipped and tucked in a way where he felt more comfortable. This feels a little stiff and rigid, a little robotic. I do Maybe. like the Tin Man. I do like the Tin Man effect on that. Thank you, Lloyd. That, Lloyd, that, if those pants- that, that, that was a good critique. Mm -hmm. If those pants were more like a pencil, Fit, do you think it might be a bit strong? Exactly. We're saying the same thing. Yeah, it should just be a sharp, knife sharp crease, you know, no no uh break at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. But he's he's also, you know, trying to find his way. You know, he's got that kind of Black Panther kind of lock style going now. Like he's trying to find it. He'll get there. Hmm. Edit. Okay. He, this outfit needs to be edited. Edited. Yeah. yeah. RuPaul's Drag Race and too much Project Runway to see something like this and not think you need to edit. If there, yeah. was, if there was an edit, the edit button should be right on this outfit. Right Fashion here. edit. I'll totally edit. Three in one, yeah. Coco Chanel said it, you know, century, uh, decades ago. Take one thing off before you leave the house. You and know, it could be a pocket. Oh. Well, <laughs> speaking of taking taking something off, Alex, he said that he just, <laughs> he said, well, I, as, as, as a commentator I know said, protecting the property without obstructing the view. <laughs> Come on now. You know, this is just perfection. He may be AI at this point. You know, he's uh, knocking <laughs> on his door, yep. uh, which is incredible. He's got yep. the, the body of a, a Ken doll. And, you know, I interviewed Lenny several times over the years. He's included in Men of Color because I knew 25 years ago that he would be an icon we should continue to watch. So he's featured in that book. But I interviewed him when he was just around 50 with that same six pack. And I said, what is the secret? And he's like, it's genetic. I'm like, that ain't genetic. I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> you, know, you got that organic farm in Brazil. You got cooks like that's discipline and yeah. that's dedication. And he yeah. can like you're like Maurice is saying here, he can do no wrong. He is my oh, spirit. Yeah. He's my North Star. 
I'm telling you, I saw that and I, I felt that I, I felt the same way when I saw this as I did when I saw, saw Janelle Monet. I was like, they are for me tonight. That's it. Yeah. That well, we and Tracy Chapman singing. I was like, I'm done. I'm good. Well, we have three more looks that we had we need to get through right now. And our next look, she blew me away on many levels Sunday night. Uh simply put, I'm getting, you know, kind of a throwback to Jane Fonda Barbarella. Absolutely. Uh, and I'm loving, you know, this Maison Margella uh artful creation. It's more of uh, an art piece than it is a dress, and I love her for taking risks and chances. I loved it. It's made out of safety pins. Yeah, it, it, it was it like really? Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Meet, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it's art. It's all safety pins. Amazing. And she had on the right shoe. And, and she's and, done some work on those yeah, legs. Her legs yeah. look good when she was performing and so forth. She's she's toned. She looks good. Yeah. They need a different hair. But the yeah. hair, it was that Barbarella look, I agree. Like, oh, oh, Vosh, me, it, me it and you are not usually over here and over here, but yeah, that hair, that hair was on point. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I got lost in her hair. Um, And I, our next person, uh, our next, I'm sorry, our Who next is person behind her? is Summer Walker. Gorgeous. Um, I'm getting a Hello Dolly moment here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and I feel like it's way too, costumey, Bob Mackie-ish for mm -hmm. such a young woman. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, women get too excited. There's too many voices in their ears, too many stylists and too yep. much of a team. And this feels, all that marabou just feels a little fraggle rock and it feels like it's it's wearing her. Yeah. And I certainly wouldn't want to be sitting behind her at that performance. No, it's just rude. It's rude, you know. And, 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 there, and there were worse. Yes. And last but not least, this was my ultimate favorite, mm -hmm. honestly, of the night. Mm -hmm. As you talked about simplicity. Yeah, I didn't know who and she everything. was until that night, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I loved how uh, this tone was her nude. You know, mm -hmm. so many women of color can't find mm -hmm. their nude because mm -hmm. it's not, you know, it's not a neutral that most designers focus on. This disappears on her her skin like it's just a layer of, of sheer moisture. And it's I think it's beautiful. Versace nailed it. Mm -hmm. And she's family. Wow. She's family. She's uh, I, she's in the LGBTQI community. So I love her even more for showing up in this way. Wow. And her daughter won a Grammy that night also. Because she's on the song, right? Her she's daughter is on the song and she's only three years old. She won't have anything to do with the paparazzi, but both of them were dressed in Versace and it was an amazing moment. Well, Lloyd, thank you so much for your fashion critiques, my brother.